Hi guys, I'm David with Media Unlocked and today I'm going to be showing you how to do HDR video with the Magic Lantern firmware hack. Now uh, from what I've gathered from looking over the internet, there's no one that really shows you a step-by-step -step process, everything from how to shoot, how to set up your settings in your camera, how to shoot it, how to upload it into uh, your computer, how to edit it with uh, Adobe Premiere and After Effects. Um, so I'm going to show you the basic settings that I've gathered that you need to set up with the uh, new ML firmware. Um, and that would be, uh, first I have it set up at 24 frames per second. Now if you want to do 60 frames, you can do that. So you're going to slow your uh, footage down a little bit. Um, I'm going to do it at 24. Now I'm here in Kentucky in the U.S. and it's January. It's, it's usually pretty cold. It's actually kind of nice weather today. But the colors are just absolutely horrible this time of the year. So this HDR video is not going to look like anything amazing because I'm, I'm working with some very, very dull colors. So we're going to hit our delete button. We are going to go down to Movie, and I'm using the Canon T3i, so the settings are going to be a little bit different on the T2i. Um, I'm, I'm sure it's still under the Movie setting, though, um, on the T2i. Now we're going to scroll all the way down to where it says HDR Video. Now I'm going to set it up, you can do 1 in 100, but that's going to be, the exposure is not going to be far enough off to really, I don't know, I just don't think the, the, the look will be good. So I'm going to try 1 in 800. So uh, the 100 is going to be a decent exposure. It might be a little underexposed. And then the 800 is going to be really overexposed. So let's just double check to make sure it did that. So if you notice right now, I'm not recording. It's shooting between uh, the underexposed or kind of exposed and then the overexposed. So now we're going to record about 20 seconds of footage. We're going to take it back to the computer. And I'm going to show you the process that I've learned on editing it. So let's go on and hit the record button. So if you notice, you're, you're, shooting, you're shooting one, one video footage. So it's gonna, be all, it's gonna be all one footage, but it's two separate uh, footages in a manner of speaking. And what we're gonna do in After Effects is actually split them up and then edit them together. Um, stack them on top of each other, split them up, put them back together, edit them, and you get that HDR look. So we recorded about 23, 24 seconds. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this back to the computer. We're gonna pop it in Premiere, send it over to After Effects, and I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step process that I've learned in editing this footage. Okay guys, so I've now put the footage onto the computer that we shot earlier, and I've uploaded it right into Premiere, and I've already picked the clip I want, and I'm going to drag and drop it down to the timeline. Now just to let you guys know, there is no real specific uh, HDR workflow um, for the Magic Lantern footage quite yet and uh, especially with Adobe and After Effects so I've taken a couple ideas that I've seen on the internet and kind of made my own um, so uh, as time goes on there'll be better and better workflows out there hopefully um, or I'll figure out a better workflow than the one I have now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on the footage we're gonna say replace with After Effects composition All right, now it's going to ask me to save it, so I'm going to save where I want to put my composition. I'm going to overwrite the one I did earlier. All right, so here's After Effects. Now, this is pretty simple right here. So the first thing you're going to do is click on your footage. You're going to do Control or Command D, so you'll duplicate the clip. Um, your next thing you'll do is you'll right-click on the top one, and you will do Time, Time Stretch, and you're going to put it at 50. So mainly what this is, is going to cancel out all the frames except for the uh, underexposed or normal exposed exposure here. Um, now this is very important that you do this. I'm going to make this huge so I can make sure I see it. And you're going to, what you're going to do on your bottom clip is you're going to cut out the first frame. And what that does is, is this is going to go through and you're going to do the same exact thing. Time, time stretch, 50, click OK. Now you can go back out to full exposure here. Um, so uh, the top clip is your normal exposure or underexposed clip. The bottom clip is going to be your overexposed, as you can see. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to your effects, type in Luma, and we're going to put that on the top clip. Now that this is on the top clip, you want to go back to Project and make sure you have the actual composition clicked. Now you can go back over here. We're using the top clip. We're doing the Luma key. And you want to put, I found that 80, 
So maybe 75. And we want to bring the feathering to 100. I found that feathering to 100 is the best. Um, and then bring this down a little bit. Nope. Up. So bring this up to 82. And sometimes you can do this edge thin and bring that up 5. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a going to go down to color correction, brightness and contrast. I'm going to put that on the bottom clip. Now again, you want to double click on the bottom clip, go back and make sure you're on your composition so you can actually see what you're doing as you're editing. Um, and let's see if we want to mess with this. Sometimes I use this, sometimes I don't. Usually I pull this back pretty far and then I pull your contrast up and that gives it that gives it uh, its color back almost because um, you can see it looked real fake and it still looks kind of fake um, it's got this has got that real ar archy kind of HDR feel to it not your trying to get your composition just perfect so this is kind of that cool effect um, so now that we have the contrast now I'm going to go down and do a level on each one so we're going to do the level on this one usually I pull this one to your right a little bit which is going to darken up the bottom half of the uh, this bottom half right here um, and then I'll do a level on the top one and we'll double click on it and make sure I'm on my composition and I'm going to bring it usually this way now you don't you want to be kind of careful because what happens is is you start to get this um, if you notice as I move the scene, you get this white kind of outline on, on par certain parts of your shot. Um, so if you do do this too much, if we bring it all the way over to the right, see if you notice all that white. I mean the, the sky looks, well, it's a little looks a little angry there. Um, but if we bring it back some, it's not as bad, but the sky doesn't look like it did before and it was way, way blown out of proportions. And sometimes you can use this down here if you need to as well so I just kinda mess with these settings till I get what I want exactly so like that looks that looks pretty decent here so now what I'm gonna do is I am going to save this so control S or command S um, and I'm going to X out of After Effects now all that footage that I just did is right here in my workflow for Premiere And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click here, put new item, new sequence. Um, click OK. You can name it if you want. We can HDR underscore 2 and click OK. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the HDR sequence, sequence 1, and throw it in sequence 2. And there it is. And then we're going to right click on it. We're going to do speed and duration, 50, and we're going to click OK. Now it's going to, you're probably going to have to render that out, so you're going to go up to Sequence, Render Entire Work Area. And that seems to take quite a while. It just seems to take about 20 minutes um, on this clip, which is about 30 seconds long. So I will be back with you guys after this clip is finished. All right, so the clip is done. Um, next thing I'm going to do is, if you remember, you earlier when you're in After Effects, you uh, your frames are off by one. So if you want to go one frame up, and you can hit your uh, slice key and delete, and then so, and then I'm going to go through and cut the audio out as well because I do not need the audio. And there is your HDR video. Now, if you notice, and we'll pull it up some. If you notice, you get this uh, this white stuff right here. I was telling you earlier where you're gonna get that glow. So this is the best workflow I've come across, and uh, I'm always if anybody out there has a better workflow or can tell me some tips 
Um, I gradually, I, you know, graciously accept them or critiques on this because this is something that I'm not um, an expert at in any means. This is just something I've been reading about and this is what I've taught myself so far from watching other people's videos and reading blogs and stuff. So if, um, if you know of a better way or things that I can do that will help this out a lot, please let me know. Leave comments down below and stuff. And for all the people out there trying this out, have some fun. Um, it's pretty cool what you can do with this uh, Magic Lantern uh, HDR footage. So I'm David with Media Unlocked. And uh, if you get some time, check us out on Facebook or Twitter, David D. Images. And uh, I will catch you guys next time.